Pasadena, how you feeling? All right, I'm a little stressed out. I got into a car accident, my first car accident ever, okay? I was in stop and go traffic. I stopped, I kind of goed into the car in front of me, you know? And uh, it's not really fair, like I hit the guy, he was driving a 1985 Honda Civic, which is kind of like a crappy car, you know? And even if you have that car, you're not gonna get mad because everyone knows you're driving a crappy car, you know? <laughs> And I tried to joke around with the guy, like he got out. I was like, ha, 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 don't drink and drive. Not funny, okay? <laughs> Not funny when his head is bleeding. That's what I realized. <laughs> and he's like, man, do you have insurance? I was like, dude, it's a 1985 Honda Civic. I have 20 bucks. <laughs> do you have change? We could do this right now, seriously. <laughs> I like messing with my friends in the car, especially when we get pulled over by the police. It's kind of fun. You guys ever do this? The cop pulls your friend over, you know? He's like, license and registration. I'm always like, he doesn't know where the registration's officer, so we're too wasted right now, man. Ha <laughs> We smoke so much PCP, officer, I can't feel my arms. <laughs> I feel like the dead guy we have in the trunk. <laughs> it's a little weird, huh? Yeah. I like drinking. I drank tequila for the first time recently. Anyone here ever drink tequila? A round of applause, huh? Anyone? Yeah? You know what I realized about tequila? Tequila's the kind of sneaky, uppy, now you're drunk, alcohol. I took 18 shots of tequila. I thought I was fine, Ice House. I was like, hey, I just took 18 shots of tequila and I don't feel a thing. Give me that bottle of vodka to wash it down with, because tonight we're having some <laughs> I woke up, I thought I was Jose Cuervo. <laughs> I'm like, hola. Hola, comilleta. <laughs> but you have to shut up, you know, because all your friends are complaining. They're like, shut up, Dan, you're driving. It sucks. <laughs> friends are weird. I'm not a brave guy, I'm not very tough at all. You know, I have a friend who's crazy, he's a Marine. He's like, dude, I can kill you with one finger. I can kill you with one finger. I'm like, you cannot kill, I mean, what do you do with one, you know, like what do you possibly? <laughs> you cannot kill me with one finger. You can make me feel weird with one finger, but that's a different story. <laughs> but we should videotape it seriously and put it online. I love going online, right? But the other day I realized I was the most bored ever because I Googled Google. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and my computer exploded. <laughs> but I like to do hip things, you know? I was really into the, uh, the bracelets, wearing the bracelets for a while, you know? You guys, you guys live strong with the bracelets? We live in strong with the Lance bracelets. You guys know what the hell I'm talking about at all whatsoever? <laughs> Just a little fad that was going on all across America. But my friend w w was telling me not to wear the Live Strong bracelet anymore. He's like, dude, that's not, that's not hip, man. It's not trendy. But I'm like, dude, it, it's for cancer, you know? It's not MySpace or Jessica Simpson, you know? It will be here next year. It's cancer, testicular cancer. Like, I have You have probably, right? You're growing them in the front row, you know? What did you get? Cancer, freak out, run to the hospital. Doctor, doctor, help me. I think I have cancer. What if he's like, whatever, queer, that's so summer 2004. <laughs> like, what? Uh, I had to stop though with the braces. I knew the braces were getting out of control when they made a blue one. And they were like, Dan, are you wearing the blue bracelet? I'm like, the, they're like, yeah, to support the Jews. I'm like, what? We need to support, we need bracelets now? Jews need, br no, no. The last time a bunch of Jews wore something to identify themselves they were Jews, it didn't really work out so well, all right? <laughs> so I'm not gonna throw that on the old wristeroo. <laughs> oh man, one drug people, I'll tell you right now, do not do heroin, right? Anyone do heroin here, but round of applause? <laughs> Just the girl who dropped the cup. That makes sense though. <laughs> that makes sense. People don't do heroin though, you know why? Because you can't brag about heroin, you know? You can brag about everything else, like drinking, like, oh man, last night we got so drunk, we stole a goat, <laughs> painted it, and kicked it, ha 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 Or like weed, like, oh man, last night we smoked so much weed, we watched TV for like 12 hours, 
and then we realized it wasn't even on. <laughs> but it was the best CSI episode I ever saw in my life. I figured out the case. But you can't brag about heroin, you know? You can't be like, man, last night we did so much heroin. Ha ha ha. Eddie died. Yeah. It was awesome. There was blood coming out of his nose and everything. Holy crap. It was a party. <laughs> Gotta be careful though in uh, Hollywood where I live because people do crystal meth. Crystal meth, another drug you can't do. You know why? Because crystal meth never has a happy ending, you know? It's never like, dude, I was doing crystal meth, now I'm a millionaire. It's always like, dude, I was doing crystal meth and I sold my knee. What? <laughs> yes, bending is annoying. Now could I have sex with you for 20 bucks? Fine, awesome, I gotta do a standing up because I sold my knee. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of people here do crystal meth. That's fine, I don't judge. I know you can't laugh at yourself, sir, but you are wearing sunglasses inside. Holy crap. <laughs> you guys are a good crowd, though, because I do weird shows, man. I did a show for homeless people, all right? That was weird, doing a show for homeless, because like, homeless people don't relate to me. Like, I can't make homeless people laugh, you know? Like, they don't get my cell phone jokes, you know? Because <laughs> homeless people don't talk into cell phones. They talk into soda cans and never run out of mints ever. It's kind of crap, honestly. <laughs> but it's hard dealing with the hecklers also, you know? Because, like, you know, if, if you heckle me and you're like, blah, 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 and I'm like, are you crazy? You're like, no, I'm not. I go to school, you know? But a homeless guy, I'm like, are you crazy? He's like, yes, I am. And starts peeing all over the stage. It's like, whoa, whoa. There's urine on my new sneakers. Thank you, Captain Homeless. Crap. But the weirdest show, I did Toys for Tots show, you know, nice for the Marines and, you know. But I realized they're like, the Marines and the Army were both there. And like, they don't get along. They don't like each other. Do you guys know this? The Marines and the Army don't like each other. It doesn't make sense to me, though, you know. They're fighting for the same cause. They're on the same team, you know. Like, I don't hate clowns. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, it's a taping, okay? <laughs> All right, before I leave, though, I'll tell you guys, you know, I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here doing comedy because I had a bad day. I had a girlfriend for, like, ever, and she cheated on me, so we broke up. And that's bad when someone cheats on you, right? All my friends are like, dude, man, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. But, like, it really couldn't have been worse than that, you know? Like, the only way it could have been worse is if I walked him while it was happening, and then the guy punched me in the face <laughs> and had sex with my ass. And then I went outside and got a ticket. That would have been bad. I'm Dan Levy. Thank you so much. Enjoy comedy time, huh?